Hi, this is Anna Hackman from Green Talk, and today we're going to be talking about horseradish. This is one of my horseradishes. I've been growing horseradish for about four years, and it always comes back. Always, always, always. And you can never get it all out, so it always comes back. It's one of those root vegetables that just come back, and they haunt you forever. So if you are growing horseradish for the first year, make sure you plant it somewhere where you don't care if it gets evasive, because it can get really evasive. This is only one of my bulbs. As you can see, it's kind of like a two-bulb type horseradish. I have another six of them, not as big as this, but more like singular, like, you know, like half of it, um, that grew right beside it. So um, probably next year I'll have seven or eight. So I also wanted to tell you about the leaves. I love the horseradish leaves. As you can see, they're very long, and they're kind of like a fan-like. Now, my leaves this year got eaten a lot by the bugs because they are still a green, so it's just kind of like what eats your collard greens is going to eat your horseradish greens, and they ate. And so I didn't get as many leaves as I wanted to, but this is just an example of one of them. And as you can see, there's holes in them. Slugs like them. Everybody likes these leaves. They don't find them spicy. So they're great in all recipes. They're a great green. So what I'd like to know from you is how do you deal with your horseradish? Do you grate it? Do you dehydrate it? Do you stick it in sand? What do you do with it? And uh, I would love to have in the comments below any recipes or videos that you made with, with regards to your horseradish um, recipes. And like always, like and share my video and subscribe to my free newsletters for more green living and gardening tips. And again, thank you so much for watching.